everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on uh, just some random little uh, quick tutorials that might uh, help somebody down the line. Um, just to clarify, I've been working on my makeshift route one. Uh, it's nothing special at the minute, it's just for testing purposes. But I've added in some fences just to give it a bit more character. I could actually now get rid of the bound boxes because uh, I've got this to block the player instead. But uh, I've been working on just making a sort of rough laboratory. And now I know it looks awful. Um, it looks terrible. It needs uh, complete redesign. But I did come up with this very cool frosted glass. And I thought this would be a cool little tutorial to cover um, if anyone was uh, in need of something like this. Uh, I've put the curtains in there myself. They were just a, a pack I got off um, Marketplace years ago. Uh, I thought I'd just put them in there to kind of block out the nothingness that is inside the house. Uh, but this also applies to this up here. So you've got this kind of lighthouse with uh, the frosted glass effect as well. So it's really, really simple to do. Um, I will create a new material. We'll call this one um, frosted glass toot. Oh, uh, probably doesn't like the spaces. We're going to open it up and we're going to set this to translucent. We're going to right click and get uh, just type in blur and we want a spiral blur scene texture. Put the result into the emissive color, put the scene color clamp to zero in uh, opacity. And then from the distance, we're going to pull off, we're going to get a uh, scalar parameter. We'll call this blur amount. And we're going to set the default value to probably about 0 .0, 0 0.01 should be a good value. Uh, you can see it's there. Uh, it's kind of got that kind of window effect. I like to give it a bit of a color to give it a little bit more depth. So I always hit three and click to get a three constant. And the color I go for is normally just a kind of light uh, uh, kind of slightly darker than white white so you get that kind of frosted effect hit the apply button we're gonna go back into the scene uh, I'm gonna pull out a panel drag it up uh, I'm gonna rotate it and to about 90 I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger there we go and just drag it away so we don't get we can actually get behind it uh, I'm going to apply our new frosted glass toot to it, if I can see it. There it is. Um, now, while that's loading, we're going to scroll down to the collision. We're just going to give it a custom collision so that it doesn't affect our camera. Um, so make sure you give it ignore visibility in camera. Is this going to update the material? Apparently not. Let's give it another go. There we go. Uh, and then when we walk behind it, we can see the frosted effect. There we go. Got that lovely white. Uh, you could do this any color as well. So if you wanted a slight, like a slightly bluer tint to it, you can do that as well. Um, but you can just see the character behind it, but it is definitely frosted. Let's, um, just so you can see it in full effect, let's, uh, in its proper effect, let's take off that, um, the white just so you can see what it looks like without it um, there you go you can already see it with the with the thing but let's um, let's step behind it and you can see it just basically creates a little bit of a blur to give you that sort of uh, frosted effect on the glass um, and that's how it's done but I'd say the white looks way more effective but um, hopefully someone finds this useful that's what I'm probably going to be using for the buildings uh, so that you can't actually see in them um, with this kind of curtain effect uh, for the um, laboratory though, I mean that's going to be fine for houses, but for the laboratory I'm probably going to just do like a, uh, a much harsher frosted effect and use probably like a light bluish color to kind of give it the effect of like that mirrored sky effect. But thank you so much guys for watching, hope you found this useful. Again, another very quick tutorial, but just something I thought someone might find useful down the line. Thank you so much, don't forget to like, leave a little comment. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. Take care. Bye.